Hey what's up guys, it's Darius, and these are the two best Android smartphones out there. This is the LG G4 versus the Samsung Galaxy S6. I know it's been a long time since the release, but I've used both for maybe a month, and now I think I can give them a fair comparison. By the way, I still haven't finished my G4 review, but I will have my S6 review in the description down below in case you haven't seen it already. Starting with the build, both take a very different approach. LG goes with a more customizable and more functional design, while Samsung completely focuses on the looks. The G4 is very similar to its predecessor, and that's not a bad thing because the G3 had a nice design. It has no buttons on its sides, they're located on the back, and it takes some getting used to, but then it's actually quite nice because they're placed exactly where my finger rests. Sadly, LG increased the bezel size, so now it's harder to use with one hand. They did, however, add a slight curve to the phone, which makes the feel in the hand great. On the back, LG didn't really change much, and I like it. It comes with two types of backings, a plastic one with sort of a diamond pattern, and a leather one which costs $50 more, and both are available in a bunch of different colors. But what's really awesome is that the back and battery are still removable and there's a micro SD card slot. With all the other manufacturers getting rid of that, the G4 is really your only good option left. The only thing that I don't like about the G4's design is the poor placement of the speaker and that the plastic back is not very durable. On the A6, it's a completely different story. Gone are the things Samsung was known and loved for, like a removable battery and SD card slot. All of this has been replaced by a sleek metal and glass build which looks stunning. Both the front and back are Gorilla Glass 4, so it's fairly durable, and while the back isn't removable, it does come in a lot of colors, and there's even an edge variant, which I have here. The buttons are extremely tactile and clicky, and the home button even doubles as a fingerprint scanner, which is awesome. There's not much I dislike about the S6's design, only that it has a pretty large camera bump, that they could have had it a micro SD card slot, and that's a fingerprint magnet and fairly slippery. That sounds like a lot, but they're just minor issues. So like I said, it's functionality versus design. Specs wise, LG went with an optimized 6 core Snapdragon 808 chip, while Samsung uses one of its own Exynos octa-core chips. Both have 3GB of RAM, and the S6 even has DDR4 RAM, but it makes no real difference. In terms of benchmarks, the S6 completely destroys any other device, and the G4 actually scores fairly low, but in real life both perform really well. Animation runs smoothly, and there's the occasional lag, but I have to give the slight edge to the S6 because it's just a tiny bit faster. The display is an area where both of them shine, both rock a Quad HD screen, but the G4 has a larger 5.5 inch IPS one, and the S6 has a smaller 5.1 inch OLED panel. Both of them look stunning, and while the G4 looks more natural with its quantum dot technology, the S6 just gives that wow factor being an OLED screen. It's the old battle OLED versus IPS, so you have to decide for yourself. I do prefer the S6's screen a little, but both look awesome. In the software department, both run Android Lollipop right out of the box. On the S6, we find a cleaned up version of TouchWiz, which has been greatly improved over its previous versions. It runs really smoothly and still brings some nice customization features like a customizable home screen grid size, and in case you don't like the look of it, you can change it with the built-in theme engine. Also included are some great multitasking features, but my favorite feature is double tap the home button to open the camera. Sure, it still has some useless features, but it generally looks nice and performs really well. Also, if you get the Edge version, Samsung has built in some really nice software features for it. On the G4, we find LG's UX 4.0. It's actually very similar to the version found on the G3. It has some material design elements, but everything else is created by LG. Being such a heavy skin, I actually was surprised how well it performs. Everything runs smoothly and I really like it. There are a lot of features, even up to the point where it becomes bloatware, but there are also some really nice features like the ability to change the icons and double tap to wake. There's also a split screen mode and some nice built-in button shortcuts. Overall, I like LG's UI, only thing is, it's basically the same thing on the G3, which is not really a downside. The camera is without a doubt the best part on both devices. Both have a 16 megapixel shooter with optical image stabilization on the back, only difference being the G4 is f1.8 versus f1.9 on the S6. Otherwise, it's the same story as with the displays. It's accuracy with the color spectrum sensor on the G4 versus the wow factor on the 6 with the slightly oversaturated pictures. 
The laser autofocus on the G4 is very fast, but the autofocus on the S6 is a tiny bit faster. So after a while, the S6 has been cleaned up a lot. It's very simple now, and gone are the weird modes and features, but you can still download them if you want them. Also, there's a Pro mod which lets you manually control almost everything. The interface on the G4 is also nice and simple. I mostly kept it in auto, but there's also a manual mode which lets you manually control everything, even more than on the S6, and it even shoots in RAW. LG advertises DSLR-like controls, which is true. I mean, this thing even has more controls than my DSLR. Both take great pictures with impressive dynamic range and accurate colors, although like I said, they're slightly oversaturated on the S6. Both are also good in low light, however the G4 is slightly better due to it being f1.8. Both also shoot nice stabilized 4K video, however it is much better on the S6. While the image quality is great on both, the G4 warps way too much trying to balance the shot, and also it has trouble autofocusing in video so the result is bad. So for pictures, I love both, maybe slightly prefer the G4, but for video, the S6 wins hands down. Both also have great front-facing cameras, the G4 an 8 megapixel one, and the S6 a 5 megapixel shooter. Didn't really see a big difference between the two, and both took some nice selfies. In case you're interested how these cameras really compare to each other, I recently uploaded a camera comparison between the G4, the S6, the RX100, and my DSLR. If you want to see that, I will have a link down below. Now what good is your phone if the battery dies, right? Well, battery life on both of them was good. With normal usage, both can definitely last me a day, but with heavy or very heavy usage, not really. It's funny, actually other reviewers said that the G4 has a really great battery life, and on the S6 it's terrible. For me it was different, I didn't see such a big gap between the two. Depending on the usage, I got between 3 and 4.5 and hours of screen on time on the S6, and 3-5 to five hours on the G4. That's actually pretty good considering that they both have quad HD screens. Both have quick charging, sadly my version of the G4 doesn't, but it does come with it. But the S6 even offers wireless charging which is awesome. Now one feature which is really really great on the G4 is, if your battery dies, you can just replace it. Overall both are really great phones, the S6 has a better build and display, while the G4 has better battery life and is more customizable with a removal back, battery and expandable storage. Camera wise both perform extremely well, and which software you prefer is personal preference. And also, there's always the decision to make on-screen versus off-screen buttons. I really like both devices, and I love the larger display on the G4, but I would go with the S6 due to the awesome design and the fingerprint scanner. Definitely let me know which one you prefer in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely feel free to drop me a like down below, comment if you have any feedback, follow me on Twitter and Periscope, I'm at TechBully on both of them, and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one, bye!